Hello, hello. So I don't know if you're anybody's watching this and I don't care. I just uh, figured I would stream and share with you what, is, you know, I'll shut my mic off when they start, but uh, on Metal Detecting Nation, we had a discussion of what this might be. Everybody's waiting for it. Everyone's excited. Not sure what's going to happen, but um, I'd love to hear. I'd, I'd, I think we're going to have Joel on here and maybe Dave. Um, hopefully, they'll they'll chime in here. <laughs> Mike's here. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Awesome. Um, I just thought it would be a better way to watch the stream than instead of um, instead of just going on and competing with like thousands of people. On uh, but Weigold had a great idea. He says he'd rather watch it here and BS with everybody. I agree with you. I hope the sound works. Um, I'm going to do a sound test here in a second just to make sure that the sound works so that you can all see it. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, Dave. And Joel pop on here uh, shortly. So I think that would be good. Um, let me do a sound test. You, let me know if you guys can uh, can hear this. Let's see here. Let me see. Man, this is a really cool old farm. No telling what we can find out here. That's what I was thinking. It's got a lot of potential for sure. A lot of old home sites. All right, can you hear that? Uh, I'm hoping you can hear that. Let me know in the chat if you can hear that. I'd really appreciate it. Um, oh, hey, Iffy, what's up? I know somebody else is in here. That's loud. Whoa, can you hear me? Hey, Joel, what's up, man? Yeah. I gotta turn this down though. All right, if he says it sounds good. All right, Joel. What's up, man? We're watching live, we're streaming live right now. You can't see the chat, I bet, but uh, if he signals is on. here. Yeah, I'm on my channel. If he's here, Mally Man Mike is here, Weigold is here, Deej was here with us. So, um, It'll be interesting to see what they do. Uh, let's it's see. It's still really loud, though. Is it too loud? Yeah, I can't even I can't... hear you. All right, so you can hear me now? Yeah. All right, so here's what we'll do. And uh, when they start producing or some sound, I'll just flip off the mics and we'll be good to go. And then everyone who's watching uh, via this stream here can watch um, instead of listening to the music blast us. But um, can people see you? Yeah, people can see you, I think, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> uh dude i'm doing good I'm let me see for more take i'm trying i'm trying to get the chat open here so i can i can follow along you're on your channel right yeah i'm on my channel yep 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 so i'm trying to think here i don't know uh, if i i don't know if i do a li- actually I'm gonna do see a live, you do a live stream tonight at 7 30. you are Hold on, let's. I don't know why. So Hold on, I'm just trying to. No, they. Yeah, they can't see you, but I'm sure they can hear you. So, no, I do. That's fine. Yeah. And I'm at work gear anyway, so I'd rather not yeah. be seen. <laughs> I'd rather yeah. be heard, not seen. I hear you. Uh, this is kind of weird. I've never streamed and done a reveal like this via Zoom to go. YouTube live. So I think it's going to work out pretty good, to be honest with you. I think when you speak, though, uh, we we can uh, we can see you. Yeah, yeah, it probably flips over. 
Yeah. Oh, all yeah, right. I let's, got the uh, going. So, all right. Let's see what they're saying. All right, so we could sit here and talk a little bit more, but does that sound like really loud? No, it sounds good. Hey, Malaman, you can, uh, Mike, uh, where can we watch it live? You're going to watch it live right here. Or did you already say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can watch it here. Dave's going to join us too. Yeah, you can watch it here. As soon as it comes on, it'll stream right to you guys. Um, so I'm just, uh, just sitting here talking. I hope everybody's doing good. Today's Friday, just like Tuesday <laughs> and Wednesday. Thursday, Saturday, for me at least, right? So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so I don't know how many people are watching this. Uh, I think like four. But we um, we had a conversation on uh, the Metal Detecting Nation uh, stream, and uh, it'll this will be fun to watch to see what they're going to say about the actual uh, machine. A lot of people have been waiting for this. There's a huge amount of hype uh, for this machine to see what it's like. I'm sure people are going to be upset in some way. Um, but I, I think they're going to make a lot of people happy with this this machine. And we'll see what it is. But, um, yeah, I'm interested. Uh, do you know what the day of the week is? Yeah, I agree. It's like the days are – it's like for sure real-life Groundhog Day for sure. Um for me at least, because I'm working from home teaching. I don't even know if that's what you really call it. I don't want to be rude to any of the teachers, but it's just so different trying to talk and reach and discuss topics with my students. But um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, it, it, Joel, where are you at today? Hold on, shoot, I might close you out. Uh, she's been in a... She's been in a funk the last couple of days. Uh, I am uh, actually, I'm at work. So I'm yeah. just hanging out. Uh, dun, 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 dun. So about 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes here. See who can join us. Um, I'm going to actually look and see how many. We got 10 people watching right now. That's good. I got it up on my phone too because I can't. Oh, good. Dave's here. Hey, Dave, how you doing? All right. How are you? Good. 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 So we got uh, <clears throat> we got ten on the chat plus you and me, or on the stream plus you and me. So uh, we got about twelve, thirteen people going to watch this together. We'll see what happens oh. here. How are you? All right. That's good. I know. What's up, talk Dave? Hey, Joel. So um, I asked, uh, <clears throat> I, I sent the link to both uh, JHH and uh, Nancy to see what, uh, if they'd be able to watch with us, we'll see. But um, yeah, let me just. Are we live right now? We are. We're live right now. Yeah. Okay. Let me just see. Yeah, uh, don't this. pick your nose or anything. That's what I was just going to do. <laughs> All right, let's. I'll do it with you. I, I was just getting, it was funny because. It's you, Dave. Hmm. Should be playing live, right? Yeah. Is that is that too loud? No. It's good. Should be. No, it's it sounds good now. Okay. Yep. All right, we'll see how it goes. All right. Hopefully, just continues the stream right if you guys can you see the chat dave or no no okay why gold says hello to both of you joel and dave <coughs> good thank you it says it sounds fine for now and now we'll shut our mics off when they go i'll turn it up a little bit yeah I'll be right back. Okay. The music's fading out. 
Let's see what happens. Drum roll. <laughs> I don't I don't know if anything will happen, but Nope, just recycling the uh <laughs> So you guys are a lot louder than the music. Yeah, I turn the music down. Um, what I'll do is crank the music. I'll, tr I'll crank the, the uh, audio from Garrett up and then shut our mics off. So definitely you'll be able to hear them and not us. We'll, we'll, we're not going to talk over it. I'm going to write some stuff down, though, just so I remember it. <laughs> You and you swing, you know, the AT Max, and so. I mean, if it's not better than the Max, what, not... you know what it has and stuff like that. Right. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, there's Dave. Let's see. Anyone on the West Coast feel that big quake in Western Nevada? Ooh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I... So that's obviously where Weigold lives. He said he woke up around 4 a.m. this morning in San Diego. Wow. Huh. I didn't even know that. I am so not in tune with watching the news and stuff like that because I just don't want to see. I don't want to see what's going on. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, just lots of stuff. <sighs> Looks like we're going to get rain again all day today, Jordy. Uh, sucks. Really bad. Yeah, we got about four minutes left. That's what I got. Mike's back again here. And if he's here, Martin's here. Hey, Martin. What's up, man? <laughs> Martin said he had no idea. What's going on? Glad you could join us. That's awesome. Oh, okay, so um, I guess there's an app. He says you didn't catch it on the news. Earthquake app notified me. Yeah, living in Ohio, we don't really have those the need for those apps, but I, I definitely hear you on the West Coast. <laughs> so where is Garrett broadcasting from or on? So if... So I actually went on to uh, GarrettMetalDetectors.com or whatever their, their main page is. And um, when I went on their page, it asked me to register. Uh, so I registered and this came up and I'm like, you know what? I'll just share it with everybody. So um, just uh, I'm doing a simple, really easy Zoom broadcast and then with the Zoom screen share, and then I can actually screen share a a portion of my desktop and then you know that's exactly what I'm doing and then streaming it to, to uh, YouTube so I thought oh, that'd be a pretty good idea 
I think they've given away one too. All right, I'm back. Are they really? I believe so. Well, yeah, that's why you had to register. Oh. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. That's why you had to get yeah, on their website and register. That's why you had to get on and register on their website because you get entered to win one. I forgot to grab my coffee. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell you, I tell you what, this is so much harder to do from your phone than on a computer, though. Because I'm Dude. so used to, I'm so used to seeing everybody. Yeah. Wow, I did not know that about Bill, Mike. Did you, Joel, did you see that? Bill Ladd hurt his leg oh, really, Bill Ladd really got bad hurt? from a chainsaw. Uh. From a chainsaw, cut like cut his leg really bad that's crazy hey robert robert also from uh the uk we're doing good we're hanging out over here i'm in ohio um covid isn't extremely bad here um joel's from ohio dave's from ohio but uh yeah you probably know all about new york and new york city and hot spots in the area like detroit um, but yeah, things are going okay over here. How about you? How is uh, life over over there? Robert, good. I'm glad you're able to get out detecting. That's cool. Eight weeks of not detecting. Yeah, they have not done that with us. Oh, looks like we're going to start here. So I'm going to turn off the mics and we'll start our... Yep. Hello, I'm Steve. Let's turn our mics Rocky, off. The CEO of Garrett Metal Detectors. I'm speaking to you today from the Market Scale Studios in downtown Dallas. And on behalf of the Garrett family, and everyone at Garrett Metal Detectors, I wanna welcome you to this, the Garrett Apex Live Reveal. And as we get started, it'd be a good idea to mention that we have had an overwhelming response to this broadcast. So if you are viewing, streaming from our website and you have any difficulties, you might also note that we'll be also streaming this live from the Garrett Facebook page. This is a groundbreaking event, and we believe it's an industry first. It is a live, online, and interactive reveal of the exciting Garrett Apex. We've been planning this reveal for months, but our plans have changed quite a bit. We originally planned to do this at a rally in April, but the situation with world health and travel restrictions and meeting restrictions, they all conspired to make us change our plans. So we did change our plans and came up with something that we thought was even more exciting, and that's this live reveal online. There are three reasons why I think this is so exciting. One, it keeps our Apex launch and ramp on schedule. Two, it's very easy for us to clearly communicate all the exciting features and design elements of our new detector through this method. And three, if we did our reveal at a rally, a handful of people would be able to fully participate. But doing it online means that detectorists all around the world can all participate at the same time in the same way and get this exciting information together. So that is a really exciting thing. Before we get started talking about the Apex, I want to give a shout out to Bob Pedrasky and Brent Weaver and Brian Head and all of the engineers in Garland at Garrett. These three gentlemen combined have over 108 years of design experience, designing and building the very best metal detectors in the world. And they have brought some fantastic products to the market. Guys and, uh, and your teams, you are the stars of our show today. Thank you for the excellent work on the Apex. And I am so proud to bring your work to the world and to present it today at this live reveal. So now, without any further ado, the very first important point of this reveal is the Apex's full name. It is the Garrett Ace Apex. 
Yes, it is an ace, and that has been a closely guarded secret until today. And as the name implies, the Garrett Apex is the new pinnacle of the ace line. Garrett has long been the leader in entry-level to mid-range detectors through this ACE line. That started in 2004 with the launch of the ACE 150 and the ACE 250. And since then, Garrett has placed well over 1 million ACE detectors into the hands of our customers. We are very proud at Garrett to have popularized metal detecting using this affordable, easy to use, and reliable line of metal detectors. And the success of the ACE line is why we at Garrett don't worry when a competitor uses a yellow ACE looking detector in their regrettably negative advertising because we know that real detectorists know better. They know the ACE line as a hallmark of quality and performance. Now, over 15 years after the launch of that first ACE, uh, Garrett is not walking away from the ACE line. On the contrary, we are upgrading the ACE line for the next million users. And that upgrade starts today with the launch of the Garrett Ace Apex. Now I'm gonna turn the broadcast over to Steve Moore, who's our Director of Marketing, and he is gonna give you all of the details about this exciting new product, the Garrett Ace Apex. All right, well thank you, Steve. Uh, let's get right into it. Again, hello to everybody out there watching in America and all across the world. So proud to have you here. And as Steve kind of alluded to, this is just the start of some upgrades. We're gonna be carefully looking at our sport division line and the Apex is the first of what will be a series of new introductions over the next period of time. But this is gonna be powerful, it's gonna be exciting, I think you're really gonna enjoy this machine. You know, some of these new machines that come in may replace existing machines over time. Some of them may fit into a slot all by themselves in a new category. Now during the past year there's been you know, a little competition coming in, really going after the ACE series of detectors. And that's understandable, because in the years ACE has been out, all the way from ACE 250, ACE 300, ACE 400, Euro ACE, we surpassed more than a million users long ago, and it's gonna continue to grow. So the fact that this series has garnered attention from some of our competition, we get that. You know, in fact, a couple of them have, you know, taken a swipe, like Steve said, it's a negative ads on that. So be it, and we're not worried about that. That's not what Garrett's all about. That's not our MO. We plan to move forward doing what we do best. And that's gonna be bringing out more important products right here made in America with solid performance backed by the best customer service team that's in the metal detecting industry out there. So as we get started, let me uh, remind you that this presentation is interactive on the sidebar over there we are seeing all the comments coming in. We've been seeing comments for days leading up to this. Those will be monitored. We do appreciate your input. And in fact, your input leads to things that go into detectors like this Apex. So we do listen and we do care about what you have to say. And as a reward for that, we're gonna give away some Apex detectors today on the show. So stick around. All you guys that registered like we requested, we are gonna give away some freebies as we go forward. But. Uh, You've heard enough talking. You're ready to find out what this thing's all about. So how about we have the world debut of the introductory Ace Apex video right now. Let's roll video. This is the new leader in affordable metal detector technology the Garrett Ace Apex multi-frequency metal detector. Backed by the Made in America quality you expect from Garrett and the industry's best customer service team, Apex is packed with technology that will impress veteran treasure hunters. Lightweight, well-balanced, and simple to operate, it is also perfect for those just getting started. With far more than a million success stories, Garrett Ace users have long been the most productive in the world. The new ACE Apex represents the pinnacle of affordable metal detection. The Apex control box is sleek and compact, but the features within are very powerful, including built-in Z-Link wireless technology, a rechargeable lithium-ion battery source, providing approximately 15 hours of use, depending on your settings, a backlight to see the controls and target info, even in low light situations, 
large digital target ID numbers that can be read easily with a quick glance. The power of choice is yours with Apex Multiflex Multifrequency Technology. Fueled by a cutting edge, broad bandwidth digital platform, Multiflex simply means your Apex delivers true detecting flexibility. Select between four different single frequencies, like five kilohertz for improved detection on larger and more conductive targets like silver coins, 10 kilohertz or 15 kilohertz for excellent detection of a wide variety of relics, coins, and jewelry, or 20 kilohertz for improved performance on smaller, less conductive targets like tiny gold nuggets and hammered silver coins, or choose to search with Apex's true simultaneous multi-frequency mode, which means your Apex uses a range of frequencies so you can have excellent detection on all metal targets in all soil conditions. In addition, the multi-frequency salt setting further utilizes the broad range of simultaneous frequencies to help cancel the negative effects of salt water powerful single frequencies or the advantage of seeking all targets in all terrains with simultaneous multi-frequency it's your choice and that's the power of multi-flex technology apex is loaded with features that help you hunt more efficiently high resolution ground balance apex has 175 points of ground balance resolution just like garrett's at max this helps you overcome ground variations like highly mineralized soil or saltwater beaches. Iron volume allows you to decrease the volume of iron targets, while the volume of non-ferrous targets you want to hear remains at normal level. Experienced treasure hunters often like hearing all targets, but will now appreciate the option to decrease the volume of those undesired items. With eight iron volume adjustments, Apex offers more flexibility than any other detectors in its price range. Use the channel setting control to make up to eight slight shifts within each frequency to help eliminate interference from electrical sources or other detectors. This means Apex offers you 48 different frequency setting choices. Apex also offers many other features like Garrett's very popular iron audio feature, which helps to correctly identify complex iron objects. An overall volume adjust for both the built-in speaker and headphones and a pinpoint mode to speed target recovery. The Apex has intuitive and efficient controls, including dedicated buttons to quickly change common settings. A short menu list is easily accessible to change sensitivity, overall volume, iron volume, frequency, or channels. It's fast target recovery speed or reactivity means Apex offers increased ability to hear good targets mixed in amongst trash. Apex has a new hybrid audio system which combines the simplicity of binary audio found on existing ACE detectors with the additional benefits of subtle proportional audio for faint targets. This hybrid audio system and the power of multiplex technology translates to excellent detection depth on a wide variety of targets. The Apex has 20 notches of high resolution discrimination, including eight pixels of iron discrim. Five distinct tones provide greater audible target identification than on previous Garrett detectors. Multiflex frequency technology offers you true treasure hunting flexibility and the Garrett Ace Apex delivers solid performance. Garrett's new Ace Apex represents the pinnacle of affordable metal detection. The new Apex search coil is the best of both worlds. Garrett engineers took two of our most popular DD coil sizes and blended them into this six inch by 11 inch Viper coil. You get the advantage of covering more ground with the coil's 11 inch size, but the narrow six inch footprint allows you to sneak into tight areas and separate targets in trashy, iron infested sites. With the new Viper coil, you can cover the big fields, but also slither up under the brush, between the stubble rows, and through the shallow water. Nothing strikes like a Viper coil.
Whether you're looking for that perfect, fully flexible detector to get started or to advance your detecting game, Garrett's Ace Apex is the clear choice. Multi-flex, multi-frequency technology, built-in Z-Link wireless operation, rechargeable battery source, lightweight and well-balanced, fast recovery speed, excellent detection depth, and so much more. The Apex is available at two price points, with or without Z-Link MS3 wireless headphones included. Tell your dealer you're ready to elevate your detecting to the next level with the Garrett Ace Apex. Okay folks, so there you have it, the introductory video for the Garrett Ace Apex metal detector. Multi-flex technology, multi-frequency, this is it right here. I mean, this is an outstanding machine. So we're going to talk about how this detector truly positions itself above anything we've ever put out in the ACE line before and how it truly outdistances anything else out there in the metal detector industry that sells for $500 or less. So we're going to get into all those points here in a minute. And in case you're wondering about that video you just saw, that's going to be loaded up on uh, Garrett.com. It's going to be on Instagram, Facebook, Garrett YouTube. So when the broadcast is over, you can go back and watch that video, share it, and get all that good information. So rest assured on that. Now at this point, I think we were going to plan to probably uh, give away an Apex. What do you think about that, Steve? Oh, I think that's a great idea. Let's yeah. get the first winner queued up. Our friends here at Market Scale have selected a name for us. And our first winner is from Russia, and it, the name is Igor N. Igor, congratulations. We are so glad that you pre-registered. We're glad that you uh, participated in our event today. And we will get your Apex shipped out to you in a few weeks, which will make you one of the very first users of this exciting new detector. So congratulations on the win, Igor. And we look forward to getting that product into your hands. All right, congrats, Igor. And we're gonna have some more winners as we go forward. Uh, as you know, a reminder for our distributors that are watching this, everybody's learning all this live at the same time. Our sales team will be following up with our distribution to help answer other questions that you're naturally gonna have. But for all our many thousands of fans that are watching this, we're gonna keep going through this awesome Apex machine, and we're gonna get into all the details on this broadcast. Now, as another little special thing, we've got a video coming up with our chief design engineer, Brent Weaver. We went behind the scenes with him this week and had him talk about all this technology that's inside the Apex. So we'll get to that in a minute. But let me go through a few more points. You saw a lot of stuff in that video. I wanna make sure you caught some of this stuff. Uh, I got a few notes here, but for this price point that we're gonna talk about here in a little bit, the Apex is so unique for many reasons. You know, to me, the foremost reason is the fact that it's got the multi-flex, multi-frequency technology built into it. What is multi-flex? What does that really mean? It means you've got the power, the flexibility, the versatility of running this machine in so many different environments. As your environment changes, you can change the frequency. If you're looking for different targets, you can change to best accommodate that. For example, if I wanna go five kilohertz, I might wanna use that for large, highly conductive silver coins. On the other side, if I'm gonna hit the desert out there and do some prospecting, and I wanna get good detection on little tiny gold nuggets, or if I'm in the, the fields in England looking for tiny silver hammered coins, I might wanna to go to the full strength of 20 kilohertz. But you've also got the full flexibility of simultaneous multi-frequency options in there, including the salt option. So that's what makes this machine so versatile for what you've got going here. You know, there's a lot of other things about it that are more obvious than what's built into it. You know, for example, this sleek control box. You've got built-in lithium ion battery source, which makes it so lightweight. I mean, people are gonna love that. The difference is remarkable. It's lighter than any of the current machines we have out there. It's lighter than the competition in this price range here. So I think you're really gonna appreciate that. You've also got large digital tar target ID numbers on there, which means at a quick glance in the field, I can see the numbers really big, bigger than we had on some of our machines in the past. Uh, you've got Z-Link wireless technology built into it. So if I wanna cut the cables to my headphones, I've got that option. And of course, Garrett's uh, Z-Link is exclusive. 
It's more than six times or up to six times faster than Bluetooth speed. So that's faster than what the competition offers in its models that have wireless options on there. Of course, the Viper coil, we talked about that. You saw some of that in the video. To me, it's outstanding because it takes two of the most popular coil sizes, the 8.5, 11, and the 5 by 8, and kind of blends them together. So I've got the broad coverage of 11 inches, but I've still got this narrow footprint here. And in my testing, going out in trashy sites, I can really get in there, work through the trash, and it's just outstanding how well you can separate targets. It's got very fast response, great detection depth. Uh, you know, KG and I got out this past weekend and did some field testing. And, you know, first uh, time for him, he was very impressed with a lot of things about that. Uh, you know, a few other things about it. Uh, you have a universal version on this, which means in the six modes, it includes two different coins modes. You have an international coins mode, just called coins mode, and you have the U.S. coins mode. So when you select U.S., you're going to see icons come up on the screen. That's going to be your penny, your nickel, your dime, your quarter, your half dollar, your silver dollar. And that's important to see that. People love that with the A series. Uh, but when you go overseas, not everybody wants that. Now in Canada and Australia, at times I've had people say, I wish I could get the American version because our currency sort of matches up to some of yours. So if you're traveling, you now have that flexibility. One global version, hit the U.S. coins, have discrimination patterns in the other coins modes that are better tailored to, toward what you're going to find in those other markets. So you've got plenty of options there. You know, in some of the early testing, uh, again, it's so simple. That's one thing that struck me. It's so intuitive. I didn't have an owner's manual, anything to look at, because I didn't need that. Simple buttons, they're tactile buttons, which means if it's in a downpour in the rain, you can feel it with your fingers, you can push them with a glove. It's very intuitive. The menu button allows you to scroll through sensitivity, frequency, channels, and so many things with just the press of a button. Very simple to operate, very intuitive. Now, another thing that I really like on this is iron volume that comes with this awesome Viper coil. So what does that mean? When I'm working the trashy sites, you want to hear all that stuff, but if I've got iron audio going, sometimes it's very noisy, all the iron popping and crackling. So now I can not only adjust the volume of all targets, but I can take the iron and separate it and quiet that iron down. So I get the advantage of hearing everything out there, but the iron's very soft, and then I hit a good target, and it's a great response. Now, that's me, I like that, but we've heard from customers, you've wanted some kind of iron control volume on a detector, Apex has that. So we're, we're listening, we're trying to put in some great features on that. I get excited about this. I mean, I, I could keep talking for another half an hour about this machine, but let's instead focus on somebody else. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we had the chance earlier this week to sit down with the key designer. Brent Weaver's got a whole team of engineers that have worked on this. But Brent's kind of been the mastermind behind it. And we had the chance to do a little video and ask him to talk about the technology and why this Apex is so special. So let's take a minute, let's roll video, and let's check out what Brent Weaver has to say about designing the Apex. Hello, I'm Brent Weaver, Senior Design Engineer and Director of Research and Development at Garrett Metal Detectors. I'm pleased today to introduce to you our new Garrett Ace Apex. Before I get too far into the technical details and capabilities of this fine machine, I want to speak to you a little bit about its name. As you'll learn throughout this presentation, there's a significant difference between this detector and its predecessors. In fact, there's barely a part in this detector that it shares with its ACE predecessors. However, we chose to carry on the ACE name for a very simple reason. For nearly two decades and several generations of ACE detectors, the ACE name has represented Garrett's long-standing commitment and dedication to providing our customers the most beneficial and effective features at the greatest possible value. In doing so, we have made ACE treasure hunters amongst the most successful treasure hunters in the world. And as a result, the ACE detector is by far and away the most successful metal detector in the world. This new Garrett ACE Apex is the pinnacle, or apex, of that long-standing commitment and legacy. Again, the Apex is a totally new design. Some of the new design features we'll discuss are the new lightweight, sleek case, 
which contains a rechargeable lithium battery. It also contains what we call multiflex multi-frequency technology, and we'll discuss that more later. Incorporated into the design is also a built-in Z-Link wireless system. We also include iron audio and a new iron volume adjustment. And in addition, we have an all-new lightweight double-D coil, which will change the way you hunt. This detector contains all of those items, plus many other features that we'll discuss in a moment. So let's start from the outside and work our way in. The new Apex comes with a very small compact case, but it's full of technology and performance. It's also rainproof and comes with a very large LCD running nearly edge to edge, along with a very prominent oversized digital target ID. The entire machine itself is also very light, coming in right at two and a half pounds. But not only is it well balanced and light, it is also specifically designed to create nearly zero rotational torque at the ends of your swings. There are many detectors on the, on the, on the market that may be top heavy or they may be bottom heavy, which causes rotational pendulum action as you're swinging it, which leads to early fatigue. This detector is designed to provide none of that. We'll talk later about the technology that's contained within our new 11 inch double D Viper coil, but it also is a lightweight design coming in at 13 and a half ounces and is fully waterproof. As I mentioned earlier, there's not much this Apex has in common with its ACE predecessors. This is most evident in our new Multiflex technology. Multiflex is our new multi-frequency technology that gives you the flexibility to choose from either the best single frequency for your operation or to choose simultaneous multi-frequency. Some of our competitors offer affordable detectors that allow you to switch between single frequencies, but this often requires changing coils. Other competitive detectors only operate in simultaneous multi-frequency with no other choice available. However, with the Apex Multiflex technology, you have the flexibility to choose whatever frequency is best for your current hunting conditions. And if conditions change, you have the flexibility to change the frequency. You can choose from four different single frequencies of 5, 10, 15, and 20 kilohertz, or you can choose from two simultaneous multi-frequency options. One option designed for normal ground condition and another multi-frequency option designed specifically for saltwater beaches. When using one of the single frequency options, all of the detector's energy is focused at that one particular frequency, with low frequency settings optimizing the detection of large, high conductivity objects, and high frequency options optimizing the detection of small, low conductivity targets. The middle frequency options optimize the detection of a general range of targets. However, with the multi-frequency setting, the detector is simultaneously transmitting and detecting across the entire frequency range, thereby providing uniform detection for all target sizes and conductivities. In addition, the multi-frequency salt mode further utilizes the broad range of simultaneous frequencies to help cancel the negative effects of salt water. The new Multiflex platform also provides eight independent frequency shifts or channels for each of the single frequency or multi-frequency options, thereby providing 48 different frequency settings. This gives you flexibility when operating next to other detectors, as is often the case at rallies or other detecting events. We've talked about the new Multiflex technology that's contained here within the electronics. That same technology extends down to our new Multiflex Viper coil. This all-new coil is designed as a low-impedance broadband system to accommodate the range of frequencies available with the Apex and the Multiflex technology. Therefore, this one coil can accommodate all of those frequencies without the, the need to ever switch coils. As a result of the broadband Multiflex technology, this new coil is not compatible with existing ACE detectors, nor are the existing ACE coils compatible with the new Multiflex platform of the Apex. We've talked about the coil and we've talked about the new Multiflex technology. Let's talk about all the other features that make this Apex such a powerful machine. It has a large backlit LCD and it has built-in wireless Z-Link technology. It also includes the iron audio feature, one of the most effective systems on the market for correctly identifying complex iron objects. In addition to that, we've also developed a new iron volume adjustment. Let me demonstrate that for you now. For this demonstration, I have two targets. One is an iron nail and the other is a coin. A lot of experienced treasure hunters recognize the value in being able to hear all the targets that are in the ground, including the undesirable iron. 
However, they want to have the ability to reduce the volume of that iron sound so that it's not so annoying and they can reduce it to their preferred level. Now I'll demonstrate this iron volume adjustment. First is the coin, then the iron nail at full volume. Now is the coin again with the nail at reduced iron volume. We've added a couple more features to the Apex, including an overall volume control, which not only affects the volume of the speaker, but it also directly affects the volume of your headphones. In addition, we've increased from a three-tone target ID system to a five-tone audible target ID system. Let me demonstrate that for you now. First is the low tone of an iron target. Next is the low medium tone of foil. Here's the medium tone of a nickel. Here's the medium high tone of a lead bullet. And the high tone of a silver coin. Another audio enhancement we've made to the Apex is combining proportional audio and binary audio into a hybrid system. Binary audio, as is found on the Ace, is very clean and simple and makes it very popular. In contrast, proportional audio, which is found on our more expensive detectors, provides additional uh, target ID information, audible target ID information, but many people find it difficult to, to understand. What we've done here is created a hybrid version where it is a combination of binary audio for most of the strong signals, but the faint signals have a proportionality aspect associated with them, which helps give you additional target ID information without being confusing. The Apex also has a very fast target recovery speed, also known as reactivity. This allows you to separate targets that are in close proximity, which allows you to find more treasure amongst cluttered trash. The Apex also has high resolution ground balance with 175 points of ground balance adjustment. This is the same range and the same resolution as our most advanced AT Max, allowing you to ground balance anything from ferrous ground all the way to saltwater. We've also designed the Apex to be one global version instead of an international version and a US version. To do this, we provided six different discrimination modes, including two different coin modes. One coin mode specifically for US coins, and another coin mode for the variety of coins found around the world, including things from small bronze and gold to hammered silver, all the way to large silver medallions. While in US coins mode, a legend showing US coin icons will automatically display on the LCD. This new Apex is a game changer. It has the ease of operation and simplicity of an ACE detector, but it is full of new technology and features that are normally not found at this price point, all of which will help you become a more successful treasure hunter. Okay, so there you have it from Brent Weaver, our design engineer. His thoughts is what's in this Apex and why it's so awesome. Uh, before we go on much further, uh, Let's take a minute, Steve. Why don't we pull another winner and give away another one of these awesome Apex machines? That's a great idea. Let's make somebody's day. Yep. Let's take the next name. Our next lucky winner is from Australia, and this is Andrew S. So, Andrew, congratulations on winning the new Apex. Uh, like I said to Igor, we're going to get that out to you in a few weeks, but thank you for tuning in and participating with us today. And we will display the names of all the winners at the end of the broadcast. So you'll have one last chance to take a look at the, what those names are. And Steve, I, I got a, an idea. Next time we pull a winner, let's pull two. You're the boss, whatever you say. Okay. <laughs> we'll back, do it. Back to you, Steve. All right. And, you know, again, thanks for everybody that's chiming in. We're seeing tons of comments over there, lots of great responses. And, yeah, the most obvious questions, we'll, we'll probably hit some questions later if we have time, but the biggies are, when is this thing coming out and how much does it cost? Obvious questions, great questions. So let's dive into that right now. The answer is on this Apex unit, Garrett expects right now we're going to be shipping units during July 2020. So that's about two months from today roughly. So that's not very long to wait for this. Now the other big thing, what's the price gonna be? How does it compare to what's out there? So the MSRP, the manufacturer's suggested retail price that we're setting on the Apex detector is $499.95. Now, prices will vary depending on your country and your dealers and all that kind of thing like that, but 
In the United States, that $499, I'm going to expect to see average street prices, sale prices, somewhere closer to $425. Now that matches up very well with some of these other competitors that have been coming out with models on the lower end to mid-range end with some of the features they've got. So if you could get it in America here for somewhere around 425 bucks, how does that compare to some of these other guys? Well, let's look at a couple of these of what you got. One of those other competitors that has a model out, it's a little bit cheaper when you get it without the wireless headphones and all that. But looking at the specs, what are you, what are you missing there? That other machine is heavier than this. It's got less search modes. It's got less audio ID tones on it. It runs on a slower Bluetooth type platform when you come to separating targets. And it's only got one single frequency. It runs on 12 kilohertz. So not a very fair comparison. You've got so much flexibility here. You've got four strong single frequencies to choose from and two simultaneous multi frequencies. Six versus one. So for the price difference, I think the Apex is well worth the price. Now, the other guy that came out there and just got a new series of uh, more affordable detectors that's kind of uh, poked at Garrett's aces a little bit. Their higher-end model in that series has a street price in America for somewhere around $369, I believe. So comparing to that, what are you getting there, the differences between the Apex and that machine? Okay, that other machine, it's heavier. It does not have a built-in battery source, which means you got a battery compartment and a bunch of AA batteries to fool with. So it makes the machine heavier. It's also got a slower wireless system in there. And it's only got one frequency. It's a multi-frequency, which a lot of people like, but you've only got that one choice. You do not have the option to go to a single powerful frequency like five or 10 or 15 or 20 kilohertz where the situation calls for it or where you choose to. So the flexibility is what you gain there. Oh yeah. By the way, that other machine, it doesn't really ground balance. It says it has auto ground balance, but in my testing, when I take it out to mineralized ground, I start getting chattery performance, and really the only way to knock that down is to start introducing discrimination. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that, 175 points of high resolution ground balance on the Apex. Other machine doesn't have that option. Six frequency choices versus one. I think that's a big difference. That, that's a game changer for the Apex. So for its price, I think the Apex is gonna be the strongest multi-frequency detector on the market with far more choices than anybody else has out there. If you're looking at a suggested price of 499, or like I said, maybe even as low as 425 in America, great option, great price for what you get with all that performance. But as you'll see on this graphic we pull up here in a second, you have another choice. What if you want to go fully wireless, including the MS3 wireless headphones with Z-Link technology? For what we're going to do with that, it's just an $80 increase in the suggested retail price. So from $499 up to $579. Or here in America, I would suggest that you would probably see street prices as low as about $492. So just getting the MS3 headphones thrown in alone that's a significant savings, but it's your choice. We've got two powerful options with or without MS3 wireless headphones. You do have a 1 8 inch jack on the back of this. So if you want to get your favorite pair of detecting headphones and plug them in and have wires or earbuds or whatever you choose, you've got that option. If you want the robust, rich features of MS3 Z-Link headphones, we're going to give them to you for a steal if you buy the other package, the fully wireless package. So you've got the choices. Both of them come with the coil cover on this awesome Viper coil, and you get everything else that comes with it. All these features, all the performance we've talked about, 175 points of ground balance, backlight, Z-Link, all that built in, plus multi-flex, multi-frequency technology. You know, to us, this is gonna be a game changer that other competitors simply do not offer all this for less than $500. And I think when you really get a chance to see that, you're gonna agree. And again, I've been talking a little bit again. I think we've got given you the shipping, we've given you the pricing. Steve, you wanna maybe jump in and maybe let's pull another winner, or maybe even a couple? That's a great idea. Let's do two winners this time. <clears throat> and I will read the names. Our first of the two is from Italy, and that's Francesco C. 
And then we also have a U.S. winner, Tamara C. So Francesco and Tamara, congratulations. Congratulations and thank you for joining us today. And we are excited to get these detectors into your hands. And uh, we, we think it's great. And we think you're gonna love the new Garrett Ace Apex. So Steve, thank you for that uh, very thorough uh, description of the exciting features of the Apex and the great value that it's going to bring to our customers. I'd like to leave our viewers with an expression of our continued commitment to product development at Garrett. Many years ago, our founder, Charles Garrett, expressed and determined that he would build his company on two pillars. The first, designing and building the very best products, and the second, providing the very best customer service. And those two principles still guide us and energize us at Garrett as we move into an exciting future. As I said at the beginning of this broadcast, the introduction of the ACE Apex is about reestablishing the ACE line of detectors for the next million users at Garrett. But the ACE, can't, ACE Apex can't do it alone. And over the next year, what you'll see is some additional product introductions where we take some of the exciting features of Apex and add them to other price points within the ACE line. So the Garrett ACE line is here to stay. It's going to continue to evolve and to improve and it will remain the bedrock of entry to mid-range detecting in the market around the world. So we also explained that this uh, was gonna be an interactive presentation, and with the time that I have left, I'd like to read some comments to you and maybe answer a couple of questions. Uh, and I've selected a few from the ones that came in, and thank you everyone who's been interacting. It sounds like the, the messages are, are just blowing up. Uh, the first one I'd like to read to you is from Tom in the UK, and Tom says, I think Garrett has been sitting back and watching like a cat waiting to pounce. I think now they are ready to surprise a lot of people and competitors. Well, well, Tom, I love your imagery there. And, and yes, I must admit, I, I have felt like a cat recently. Uh, we've been so excited about this launch of the Apex and we hope you're excited too. Uh, John from Ontario, Canada says, I love that Garrett is family owned, makes trusting their products easy. I got Ace 300i and I love it. I was about to upgrade when I heard the chatter about the new Apex. I'm counting on it being exactly what I'm looking for. Well, John, we are glad that Garrett is family owned as well. We think that gives us a lot of flexibility to care deeply about our customers and to care deeply about our employees. And we also think that the Apex is fantastic and I, I hope it meets uh, all the needs that you have and everything that you were expecting. So uh, we hope to make you a happy customer very soon. Uh, Mark from Florida in the U.S. says, Garrett Metal Detectors has the best customer service in the industry by far. A and Mark, I'm gonna agree with you. Uh, I get notes, emails, cards from our happy customers that wanna talk about what great support they've gotten from our customer service reps here in Garland. And I gotta tell you, not only are our reps very caring people and very professional, but they're also users of the, of the equipment. So they know what they're talking about when they're giving you advice. And I gotta say, we are the best in the industry. And every time you buy a Garrett product, you also get our excellent customer service uh, at no extra cost. So thank you, Mark, for the, for the compliment to our customer service department. And finally, I, I've got a comment from Chrissy, also in Ontario. And Chrissy says, I have been looking forward to seeing this new detector. Thank you for this. We all need a perk, and this is a great way to cheer us all up. Well, Chrissy, I'd like to speak directly to you. And I'd also like to speak to anyone who might be kind of gloomy or a little depressed because of the state of affairs around the world. Uh, it is a, a difficult time and a dark time. Uh, but as we started preparing for this launch and we started talking to some of our affiliates around the world, I started getting comments from people that we care about that they were excited about the launch, but that excitement went beyond the, the fact that it's a new product. And it actually took on a, a life of its own as something that was encouraging because it was a sign that these dark days won't be here forever and our industry and our sport will go on and new exciting products will come and this will pass and things will get better. And I just think we're all very honored at Garrett to play even a small part in brightening uh, your world today and, and maybe helping to improve your, your outlook on the future by saying, things are gonna get better. And we're gonna keep bringing you exciting products that you're gonna love using. 
and we're going to get through this together. So Chrissy, thank you for expressing that thought to us and to all of our fans and customers out there. We're here, we're going to stay here, and we're going to keep supporting you. We've also had some questions, uh, a couple of questions regarding additional coil sizes for the Apex. And we have focused entirely in this presentation on the new Viper coil, which we are very excited about. But we recognize that uh, our customers are going to want larger and smaller coils for the Apex, and we're going to provide those coils. So we'll be communicating in the future about additional coil sizes that you're still going to love. And we also probably want to make sure it's clear that the existing ACE coils won't work on this multi-frequency detector and vice versa. You can't use the Viper on the older ACE detectors. Uh, that's just one of those things that as we advance the technology is a necessary thing. So that and uh, the last area I would like to talk about is in regards to coronavirus and our launch. We've had a few questions about whether we're worried about our ability to execute on this ramp given the state of things. And while nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow, I have to say that we have a, a high degree of confidence going into the launch and the ramp. Uh, at Garrett, we started back in January with a lot of activity around supply chain, ensuring that we had the parts that we needed from all over the world uh, to build the products that you want for the rest of this year so that we wouldn't have any gaps in our supply of our dealers and distributors. And that's been highly successful. Uh, when the coronavirus did come to our area in the middle of March, we shut down our manufacturing operations for about two weeks so that we could assess the situation with our employees and make sure that our people were being kept safe. And then we slowly started bringing folks back into the factory and getting our production going again. And I'm super happy to announce that as of this week, we are back at 100%. All of our employees are back at work and we're doing lots of creative things to keep them safe, uh, things that we never would have guessed we would do. But we are doing well, and we are proceeding with this launch and this ramp, and things look very good. And so we are so excited to bring the world the apex. And I want to thank everyone who joined us today and tuned in, and also those that will watch later on video. Uh, we're excited that you were part of our special day and our special launch, and just thank you so much. And thank you for being customers and being fans. Now, Steve, I'm going to turn it back over to you one last time, and you can tell our audience where they can go to get more information. All right, great. Uh, thank you, Steve. Obviously, uh, my marketing team and all of our, our uh, associates were very busy this morning getting everything together. So as we speak, as we're doing this presentation, we're putting all kinds of stuff out there for you live that everyone can go to, dealers, customers. So Garrett.com, if you visit that, we're loading up full pages on Apex. This includes technical specifications, uh, the two different price options. Yeah, I'm muted. My, my bad, I'm muted. Um, can you hear me, Joel? Joel's like, look at Joel, he's frozen. That's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. So I don't want to be so critical and I don't want to be mean and I don't want to, because I'm no better than anybody else. I mean, you know, so I don't want to be like a know-it-all or anything, but there's a, about three things that kind of hit me. Um, so first we knew this wasn't going to be a simultaneous multi-frequency machine. No way, not possible, not legal. I really thought this was going to be upgradable for the AT Max and Pro people. I thought it was going to be something that they were going to be able to upgrade to. That really was frustrating uh, because I, I did not think this was going to be a, an extension of the ACE um, series. And then three, the price point is just not something that I personally believe is going to be competitive with what is out there. Um, so that really had me. I thought this was going to be either an upgradable machine that was going to be in the seven eight hundred dollar range that AT users could uh, upgrade to, or I was gonna. I, I thought it was gonna be a machine that would compete with Simplex 
and go exactly with the simplex prices. What do you guys think? I think uh, Northeast Arkansas Dirt Fisher said it best. Lost me at Ace. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, that's my personal opinion. I'm, and Dave, I, if you don't know, Dave swings the AT series. So, I mean, I thought Dave was going to be upgrading, but I don't think he's going to. No, not going to. Not. It has, it has to be better than what I have. It's not. Joel, you're you're muted. Can't hear you. You're muted. Oh, I forgot you Go muted ahead. me, and I had to mute. On, I, if anybody can see my face, it just says it all. I'm just yeah, not, you're good. <laughs> I, I'm just you know, I'm a little guy anymore, and I love because it's made in the USA. But at the end of the day there uh somebody just said the apex would be better than the at pro uh i don't yeah i mean maybe i don't i don't know i think the uh couple good points i do like the frequency shift uh where you can do it i don't i don't i need to get more information on the uh the multi as they're saying it sounds to me like you can it probably has five and or five and 12 and it runs in both at the same time because like you said jordy you can't mine lab owns the technology for the true you know multi-frequency so uh yeah i don't know i i'm gonna have to sit on it i'm gonna have to sit on it for today and do some research and you know maybe i'll when i do my stream tonight i will uh maybe if you guys you guys can even join as our busy tonight don't want to say anything bad about it yet until I do some research today. And I will be honest tonight, I'm sure. But yeah, I just don't know what to think about it. Yeah, it's um it's interesting because so the AT Pro has just drastically tumbled in in price. So if you look at the AT Pro new prices, it's yeah. gonna be very it's almost identical with um this this price point so they actually have um the at pro if you guys can all bear with me here for a second the at pro right now is selling <coughs> for, but i'm gonna try yeah go ahead. it's selling for 552 dollars and 45 cents from calico and that's with the uh headphones let me look. Let me just look and see. Yep. And that's with the headphones. Literally. Okay. With so this the is this is what I this is yeah. And they're not wireless headphones. So this is what I think Garrett's planning on doing. I think, you know, most companies come out with a metal detector, what, every two, three years, maybe. Uh I think they're gonna phase out the AT Pro uh, or AT series. I think they're gonna phase it out. And this new detector is just the beginning of what's going to come out. And, you know, for all the people disappointed with, you know, having a, you know, have a Knox killer, we're going to have, you can't have something like that. I think where they went wrong, not waterproof, that's horrible. I mean, you're putting a beach mode on it and you're not going to make it waterproof, not upgrade. huge thing these days everybody loves you know when a new upgrade comes out not a big fan of the coil and uh what was the other i don't i don't even know uh yeah. go ahead jordy <laughs> no i was you got i, I was, see your i see your your, your your mind your mind turning it well i just it i'm confused as to where so let's say that we work for garrett and you know we see the knocks come out right six and eight hundred we see uh simplex come out we see the amphibio come out uh we see um really nothing from whites really um but uh you know obviously simplex is just killing it and uh the equinox is killing it um so and there's a new deuce that came out right i mean so i'm just trying to think 
Like, what does Garrett think? Like, like, what are we going to push out in the price point? The price point kills me. That's the main well, thing for me. And I understand. And I, and I, and I, You're freezing, just so you know. you know. A lot of these companies are doing all this technology for me. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. If I could just, the Wi-Fi is not the best here, so it, that might make it better. I'll just turn it on my uh, my data. Uh, oh, that's all right. Well, the thing is, is the, the simplex can very easily, Nocta could very easily make a upgrade to their machine, I'm sure, and compete with this series. Uh, I still think the simplex is better. Uh, better quality. Uh, I think waterproof. And yeah, the simplex is only a single frequency. But you know what? I'm sure Nopta really put their minds together. They could very easily make that a multi-frequency kind of like, unless Garrett put the patent on that, which I don't think they can uh, do a, do a, a dual single or dual frequency kind of machine. Uh, but yeah, I just think, I think they should have added onto the AT series, not just because ACE, what have we always thought about ACE for the years? I've never used, I've never owned ACE, but cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. That's what I've yeah, always I've, thought about the ACE. <coughs> so, I, yeah, I mean, you know, I think that when you're starting with the ACE series, you're, you're looking at maybe a little bit more of a beginner metal detectorist. Yeah. Um, a cheaper unit that someone can start with, and then you can graduate to the AT Pro and Max series. That's kind of where I thought their lines were. Obviously, they make a fantastic, unbelievable uh, gold machine, right? I mean, yes. we're not yes. talking about this is not knocking on Garrett's gold, you know, they're, they're I forget what the name of it is, but yeah, I agree. Uh, Ski Searcher says, why in, why in the world would they make it an ACE series? He believes or she believes, I don't know who or they believe, should have branched out from that series. I, I, we all agree. I, I We yeah. agree. I think that was the first thing that this should have been a branch out from the ACE series. And then you know, Darcy, yeah. says, <clears throat> Darcy says there's no way he's going to uh, move from his AT Pro to something like this. No, and, and, and that's the thing. I think they should have revamped the A because very easily with this price point, which is horrible, I would never spend $600 on that machine. Never. When you can go out and get a Knox, I paid $735 for my brand new Knox 800. You can get ones for $600, $650. I saw somebody put in the chat that they got it. They, they just bought a used 600 for what? 500 and something dollars where you're in the, and even in the 600, you're getting that true multi-frequency shift. You're getting it waterproof. It, you know, yes, it doesn't come with wireless headphones, but man, you can get them for it. Mm -hmm. I just think the, I think the price point is what's turning me off from not even wanting to do any more research on this thing. Uh, you're looking at a, like you said, you can get an AT Pro for that price. So what I think they're doing is I think they're going to start phasing out the AT series. And this is going to be the new norm for them. I think they're going to revamp the A series, which I know we all look at that like, oh, shit. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, crap. Because of the, yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, of the, uh, but I just think they're, I just think they're going to try to revamp this. And this is going to be their new norm. But this is the new norm in the world right now anyway beginner to eating intermediate uh detectors so you know i saw a couple of people said in the chat that they you know they were they were disappointed because of you know it, they thought it was going to be a knox killer and stuff like that that's not the world we're living in right now people have to realize that we're living in i don't see my lab comes out with a new 30 30 uh i don't see metal detecting company bringing out a high-end metal detector for a long time uh, you have Mind Lab that is doing, still doing wonderful with the 600 and 800 of the Knox, and there's your CTX 3030. And then now, I think the next person will be Nocta that brings out a higher end, but I think it's going to be a couple years. Any thoughts, Dave? Yeah, Dave's the Garrett guy, so he should be. Yeah. Uh, 
I, I mean, I can only say my personal opinion is I'm not, I definitely am not, I'm not interested in it at all. It's not a, an upgrade or that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping they were going to have an upgrade to the max or to the AT series and, uh, but. So, yeah, I, so if, you, yeah. if you go on Calico and you look at the prices, I, I think this is where Garrett was thinking of the prices. <clears throat> so if you were to talk about something coming out new that MindLab had, that uh, Whites had, and that um, uh, Nook to Macro had, uh, the MindLab Equinox new is 649 on Calico. And so they might have been thinking that they wanted to come in um, you know, a little bit under that and not and a little bit more than the simplex. I don't know. I'm just trying to think where their price point was. Uh, Deed says that she saw 412 or 499 for the machine only. So, so it's gonna it's, I, it's gonna be interesting. I think that Garrett's gonna take a look at what their the comments of people are, and they might release it lower. Uh, to the um, dealers, so the dealers can reduce it a little bit. That's my I mean, thought. The, the thing is, is how do you bring out a metal detector that's five hundred dollars and not be waterproof? I agree with you there, hundred percent. I, I 100%. do too. Percent. I think that's a killer. I mean, come on. I don't. You know what? When I look at metal detectors these days, one thing I want in that metal detector, and it to be waterproof. That's the one thing I want. So if because I hunt in all the conditions, just like you two. We hunt in the snow. We hunt in the, the rain sometimes. And how I just, I, I just don't, I don't get it. How can you not make it waterproof? That's the biggest mistake ever for that price. If you were going to bring it out at simplex range, 300 to 350 and it not be waterproof because the Vanquish is doing decent, uh, Waterproof, and that doesn't even have rechargeable battery. Uh, but you know, for everybody to make make big deal, I understand it's new to Garrett because Garrett's never had a metal detector that didn't suck up four double A batteries in in five hours of digging. Right. But that's that's a, that's around. I mean, they're acting like this is all new technology. Everything that they have on Iron Audio, they acted like that was such a big deal. I mean, you have a you have a metal detector that you can buy for $250 that's fully waterproof with wireless headphones for $350 or $329 or whatever that has iron, iron audio on it. So it doesn't have where you can switch the, the frequencies. Uh, you know, that's not a, not a big deal to me. I don't think it's going to be a simplex killer at all. I think the simplex is still, I think the Knox is going to stay at the top of the, well, 30-30, of course. I'm, not, I'm just talking about most people can afford the Knox is mm -hmm. 800 is going to stay up there it's going to stay at the top for a long time unless somebody brings some out and the and i'm i'm rating the garrett as of now use one i'm rating it at the bottom of all metal detectors out there right now new metal detectors yeah so <clears throat> the last thing i'll say about price point right now is on garrett you could buy a garrett at pro with um with the uh uh a uh, 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 garrett carrot the, with the uh, pinpointer for 599 so you know I, I it'll be interesting it'll be definitely interesting to see uh i'm glad they came out with it i'm glad that you know that it's yeah, out yeah. now everybody's going to talk about it and you know um all the videos are going to start popping up on youtube with people using it and um but just like any other just like any other one it's it's going to get judged as we're judging it and we should judge it i mean we're the consumer so yeah. we we should judge it i mean i'm not trying to be negative in any way but we are the consumers and we have a right to judge it uh martin says that he's disappointed uh it's not waterproof and, and a bit pricey um obviously um yeah, Kep says it has a really good point, and he says that things have kind of plateaued with the technology. Uh, so, yeah, I agree. So, all right. Well, Dave, anything else to add? Not really. So, disappointed. Uh, I'm, 
I'm yeah. disappointed. Yeah. I mean, see, that's the thing. People who are using the, who, who are Garrett loyal, I would say you're loyal to Garrett. You, you, mm -hmm. you really enjoy your machine. Um, our, I thought it was going to be an upgrade. I already said this a hundred times to the AT series and it's not. So people like you and people like Darcy and people like ski are out there saying there's no way that I'm going to upgrade or, or actually, I guess, kind of be like a downgrade, right? Because it's not an upgrade to the machine that you guys are using. So keep on yeah, going. I, then. <laughs> well, yeah, I just, I just think, I just think, sorry, I had, I had a phone call, so I didn't really hear oh, what you guys right. were talking about. That's all right. Uh, I just think it's for that price point. You're going to have the brand loyal Garrett people buying it. But I really don't think you're going to have, you know, like when the Simplex came out, a lot of people that were not brand loyal switched over to that because, I mean, it's a good detector. Uh, I just I just don't think that you're going to have people that have the Simplex now buying it. I don't know. But. Yeah, so there's a good question in the chat. Battery life? No, that wasn't mentioned. Wasn't mentioned. Battery life wasn't mentioned. Obviously, the coil is going to be waterproof. The detector won't. Um, you know, they're ready to ship in July, what, two months. So that, you know, <clears throat> we'll see. There's going to be yep. a lot more discussion on a lot of other channels. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how it actually performs. This is just yeah. all just, you know, just a reveal talking about it. I, I'm going to be interested to see, um, they didn't talk about depth, which I don't think is a big issue anymore with metal detectors depth. What do you guys think about that? Uh, no, no. Go ahead, Dave. I, I no, I don't. No, I don't either. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it was interesting. I will. I'm going to say this, and I, I didn't want to say it in the chat when it was going on. But if you watch back when the man who is swinging over the coil for the very first or target for the first time, and he has the nail, then the coin, then the nail. And he was going over it back and forth. You could not, he was talking exactly at that point. He was talking about the separation. You couldn't hear the coin. No. You could not hear the coin. You got to watch it back. Go back yeah, and I'm gonna watch, watch it. Yeah, I'm going to watch it back. Yeah, and, and you can't hear it. And then he started showing the examples of this is an iron target and this is a, a, a coin target. So... Weigold says he heard that 18 hours on the battery. So, um, and then another, you know, we, we did talk about that, uh, Daniel, about the upgradable. They didn't talk about whether it was upgradable or not. So, yeah, they would have, because that's, that's, that's a big thing in metal detectors these days is upgradable. People like, oh, a month from now, detector is going to change because they're going to, and they're going to make it better. Just like the Simplex. Yeah, they brought the first one out. Didn't do as good. But, man, they jumped on that, and they brought another one out right away. And now, I mean, you know, oh, by the way, you know, our good buddy Richard Jones, I forgot, you know, he found he found a Riel with it yesterday, his first Riel with the Simplex yesterday. Did he really? Yep, he sent me a picture yesterday, and uh, I'm sure he'll be on my stream tonight probably, and we'll, we'll shout out. That's him. awesome. Yeah, so, but you guys, you two are welcome, Dave. Jordy, I don't know what you guys have going on tonight, but I'll, I'll be doing, we'll be talking about it tonight on my stream. So. Yeah, I think it's a good ending. I don't think there's anything else really to talk about. Thanks for joining no. us, everybody. And, you know, um, I, I'm hoping that uh, there's some really good things. Hold on. Weigold says Kevin Hoagland. Yeah, I know who he is uh, from uh, Gold Prospectors Association of America. And Mind Lab says air test does not give you real test results of course not no, no. uh the soil has a huge huge uh air tester joke you don't know what to expect in the soil conditions yeah so we'll we'll see when it comes out and uh hopefully everybody just enjoys hmm. the rest of their day and yeah. um uh, a couple people i see uh are going detecting it poured out here it's pouring out here it's still. pouring right now so i don't know where you are in ohio where it's not raining but it's coming <laughs> it's coming my it's coming my way if it's hitting yeah. you guys it's coming my way i'm not too far yeah. so. 
All right. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. We're going to stop the live stream and um, have a great day, everybody. Have a great night, good weekend. Bye. I'll see you guys. See you guys all later.